we're going to create a VLAN. There will be three VLANs that we need to create because we're going to connect three switches. And per switch, there's also going to be three computers to represent each VLAN. Let's say, for example, for this example, we have okay, this is say, for example, this switch belongs to the first floor. Uh, first floor of a building and then this one is second floor of the building and this is the third floor of the building third floor now it's time to create three uh, computers because we're gonna connect three computers and which can uh, represent also um, uh, the VLANs because we're gonna create three VLANs Here, and the other switch is here and here. And here. Okay, so uh, here we're gonna connect this computers using the VLAN. Now we're gonna label this first with their IP addresses. So we're just gonna follow again, uh, start with one. And These are just labels. Just, these are not yet configuration of their IP addresses. We're just gonna follow right after this so that we will be guided as to what we're gonna do. So this is 6, 7, 8, and 9. This is 8. So let's just put the uh, gonna make the VLAN so let's say for example VLAN VLAN 10 is for the uh, sales VLAN let's make it all available VLAN 20 is for admin VLAN 30 is for uh, marketing. Okay, so these are the VLANs that we're gonna create, and each of the computers in each switch will also be represented by each of the VLAN so that it will be properly represented. So, um, let's have this first. properly labeled so we're just gonna connect them with a straight through cable because we're gonna connect computer to the switches so we're just gonna use um, according to the ending of their IP addresses and we're also gonna use uh, together which is gonna be the same for the 
port of the switch so it, it will be easier for us for the sake of instruction it will be easier for us to remember okay so one well, port one port two and port three Next is port 4 Port 5 Port 6 And then port 8 Nine and seven. Seven. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, the I let's say this so that uh, we will not have any problems. Tina. Yeah. Sample. Okay. So not yet configured the IP addresses these are just labels so we're gonna configure now the IP addresses of each computer so desktop we go to desktop configuration and then we now use the service it's gonna be an IP one that one and tab so for two desktop IP configuration IP address so this is gonna be two and then subject mask click on it and it will be automatically filled up by um, with a with a default uh, based on the IP address subject mask is detected so three and then for this from uh, 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 I click it should I do it should be the computer so computer desktop IP configuration IP address is gonna be four, and then this is gonna be five, and then six, and then this is eight. Finally, seven. Okay, so they are now configured with the IP addresses. So let's try. It should be successful, correct? About this. Successful, yes. This successful. Okay, so that's that's okay. Now we're gonna connect these. Um, uh, we need to create first the VLAN, okay? So for each of the the um, the switches, so we click on the switch and then you click on config because we're not gonna use CLI. So there's a button here that's under switch. You click on VLAN database. So basically, this is what we have by default. So we're gonna add this VLAN 10 sales, VLAN 10, VLAN 20 admin, and VLAN 30 marketing. So, uh, VLAN 10 is sales, add, VLAN 20 is admin, and then VLAN 30 is marketing, marketing, okay, so now it's time to configure their port so port 1 is for 192.168.1.1 as we have uh, connected it earlier to the port 1 so uh, this is how we assign so basically we click on the fast ethernet 1 which is which is connected to 192.168.1.1 and then since this is VLAN 10 so we look for what's VLAN 10 it sales so we click on this and then click on 10 okay so now it is assigned next port is 2 192.168.1.2 so 2 it 
it's connected to the IP address 192.168.1.2 and then click on this and then click on it's gonna be VLAN 20 so 20 and then next is 3 so here click on 3 and then this is part of 3 and then click on VLAN VLAN 3 uh, one at one six eight one the three or which is connected to fast Ethernet or three is should be connected to VLAN thirty. So we look for VLAN thirty, which is here below. Mark three. Okay. So there. We now have this and they have been connected. So next to the other uh, so basically now, if we do a thing from sales to admin or VLAN 20 to VLAN 10, uh, it's there, it's not it's supposed to fail because they are now separated with their uh, own VLAN. So let's see. Click on this one. One ninety one six eight one dot one two one ninety one six eight one dot two. This is supposed to fail. Okay, so we did it right. So we're now going to configure the second floor. Uh, same process click on the switch config and then VLAN database we have to create another because each has to be configured on each switches so VLAN 10 sales add 20 admin add 30 marketing Marketing ad. Okay, so 10 sales, 20 admin, and 30 marketing. Now we're going to assign the port number 4 is VLAN 10, or because it's connected to so 4 is. Okay, let's put this on the side so we can see. Uh, again, we can compare it. So 4 is VLAN 10. So for port 4, VLAN 10. And then port 5, this should be VLAN 20. And then port 6 should be VLAN 30. Port 6 should be VLAN, VLAN 30. There. Okay. So, that's okay. And lastly, we need to configure this third floor. So, config. Next is VLAN database. Same process. 10 for sales add 20 for admin add and 30 for marketing add okay so it's time now to configure their ports okay so port number 8 is VLAN 30 port 8 is VLAN 30 Port 9 is VLAN 20. Port 7 is VLAN 10. VLAN 10. Okay. So now they are configured. So it's time now to uh, connect these, um, these three uh, switches. So how do we do that without the CLI? We can and without a trunk, we need to also have three lines for this. Okay, so let's assign uh, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, 11, 12, and 13 for this. 11, 12 for this also. Let's try to connect first the first and second floor. So the 11 and 12, 11, 12, 13. So let's have the 11 is gonna be VLAN 10. 12 is gonna be VLAN 20 13 is gonna be VLAN 30 okay so this is now configured so same thing for this one so let's have the 11 as VLAN 10 12 as VLAN 20 and 13 as VLAN uh, VLAN 30 so we're now going to connect them with a so since a switch to switch is going to be cross over connection so connect the 11 
to 11 Chloe 12 to 12 13 to 13 Okay So this is supposed to work So it's like there's a reserve line for each of the VLAN Okay So how about uh, for this uh, switch here so how are we going to connect it so same thing we need to separate a, um, a connection or a line for um, this to connect them so uh, first second floor of course the third floor is supposed to connect to the second floor third floor should not connect to the first floor because it's gonna cost more uh, when it comes to the wire so let's all everything is green now let's ju let's just check if this works vlan 30 should connect to vlan 30 on the first floor this should be successful uh, vlan 30 to vlan 30 okay that's successful 20 to vlan 20 here should be okay that's good vlan 10 should be vlan 10 also that's good okay so it's now now time to connect third floor to the second floor so let's have 21, 22, and 23 lines reserved for that. So same thing here. Let's have first the 20. Uh, let, let's try to connect them first so that we won't forget. So it should be the 21 here. And then the 21 here also. The 22 with the 22 here. And the 23 with the... 23 here also okay so it's time now time to assign the port so let's click this first so 21 is going to be VLAN 21 is going to be VLAN 10 22 is going to be VLAN 20 and 23 is going to be VLAN 30 same goes for this switch VLAN 20 21 is going to be V10 22 is going to be 20 and 23 is going to be 30 Okay So let's see if this works Let's wait uh, for the, all the, those nodes to turn green And then let's try it Okay Still waiting. Okay. Okay, one is green already. And last one. Third green, it's time to test. Okay. So let's try to connect the VLAN 30 here with the VLAN 30 here. 30 to 30. Successful. How about from third floor to first floor? VLAN 30. To VLAN 30 here also successful okay so sales to sales here on the first floor successful so that's it okay so we were able to do this without the command line interface using packet tracer okay so it's just a matter of arranging this so that it will look better okay so thank you guys for the time and thank you for watching have a nice day.